how the West Coast put on the West Coast weather. Napoleon Hill is an American author born in 1883. He's best known for his book of... Wait, what? This okay, wrong Napoleon Hill, cut, start again, take two. Napoleon Hill is a four-drive trail over the west coast of New Zealand between Greymouth and Reefton. It clambers its way up over the hills, drops down the other side following old gold mining trails. This was originally a township after all, housing nearly 5,000 people in the 1880s. Those are all of course since been and gone, nothing left but the gold mining tunnels they left behind, which luckily we now get to drive through. So sit down, relax, join us and the convoy as we roll our way through Napoleon Hill. Mate, you got a copy? Sure do, mate. Yeah, mate. How good is it to be back out in the old girl? Oh, it's pretty good, eh? Just got a new clutch in. I uh, haven't been able to give the new power a bit of a test down, and I've always wanted to come out to this uh, side of the country anyway, so I'm pretty excited and pumped for it, actually. Yeah, it should be a good day. I love how the West Coast put on the West Coast weather for us, so good on them. Well, hopefully we can find a bit of mud to get these trucks a little bit better. I think that's pretty much self-explanatory on the west coast, but uh, we'll see what we can find. Sounds good to me. Nick, mate, got a copy as well? Yeah, copy that. Yeah, legend, bro. Must be pumped to get away for the weekend. This is the first time I've seen your truck in action. Yeah, it's good to get out um, after I got this here. Um, good to get out of the west coast and get out for a good group of guys. Yeah, West Coast is kind of where it's at, I think, before we're driving, so it's a good start point. We'll uh, have a damn good day out roaming the hills and call it camping tonight. Yeah, it should be good fun. It should be a good day. Robin? Jono. Hi, Jono. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. We're custodians of this area, and yep. we're, we're um, access through to the Napoleon Hill Township and the Waipona Tunnels. And, um, yeah, um, you want to access through, today. Yeah. Yeah, access through there and have a look see. The area was actually gold mined in the 1860s and um, that's how these tunnels were made. So I'll give you some information. You're, you're here. Yep. We're just gonna we're just gonna follow this up and around and down through and out to the bridge. Easy and stuff. tunnels are here and here and there is a cemetery here and a town the Napoleon Hill Township is here. Okay, and, and we can go and have a look see in there. No, we can Alright. Well, thank you very much. We're keen to get, get off an adventure and enjoy the West Coast weather. Let's <laughs> <laughs> put it on for you yeah, today. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> awesome. Robin and Malcolm run the farm stay at the start of the Napoleon Hill Trail. They've built the house and built this amazing water wheel that allows them to be completely off-grid, generating their own electricity. Whether you're booking a night with them or just simply passing through to hit the trails, take the moment to say hello to the locals. No, it's Well, literally oh, 30 seconds along the trail and already we've got a bit of an obstacle going on here. Bit of a climb up a steep hill. Nothing too major for the little trucks though. Once we actually start making our way up the track, it's pretty cruisy. The trail itself is only really a grade one, maybe two, with a few cliff edges you've got to meander. Once you made it to the ridge line though, the trail starts to get a little wetter. Water starts to pool on the trail and we get to splash around in some mud, which of course keeps Shannon happy, he was out there for some mud. So 
a bit of a hole on the track here. It's actually quite a large hole. Now, if you try and sort of drive things in. Oh, actually, just kidding. I drove it. Yay! Oh, that was easy. That was actually. That yeah. was way too easy. Yeah, that was a little bit boring actually. I was really hyping it up on camera and it just ruined it. All right, guys, looks like a bit of a bog hole here. I guess just uh, hit it. What if it's super deep? But it probably isn't. <laughs> so we're fine. There's one tree. Mine's a full on tree inside your window, dude. Yeah? It didn't pull anything off my truck, did it? Nah, you don't. Quite a steep downhill tier, too. This current trail we're on is a side track at the top of the ridge. Instead of turning downhill, we took a left looking for some slightly harder stuff and a little unsure on which direction to go. This is where things got a little awkward though and we had some problems. So Shannon's, we're going to turn around and Shannon's just lost his clutch. Don't know why, it's just time to dump all the fluid. Doesn't seem to be a leak, but can't get into gear. He's now parked on the edge of a precarious hill with nowhere to start it, so we have to try and winch his front end around, get him back on the trail, and get out of here. Easy stuff, right? Totally. It's gonna be a walk in the park. Alright, winch it. Now we do have a winch blanket on there, it's at the heaviest point as in on the hook, not on the line. We want it. But I was noticing it was just pulling his truck sideways rather than around, so hooking up a strap at the rear end to the tree trunk is now enabling him to move and point down trail. But it's not doing enough. So, time to unhook it and connect it up to mine. He still connected at the front on that winch line there and now I am going to just swing his arse end around. Without pulling him off the track of course. And it worked. We are back on track. He can start it in second gear and just drive back down the road in the single gear. Being a manual though, he can rev change if he has to, but basically we are just bugging out of here. Leaving uh, Robin and Malka's place for the second time this trip. They were graceful enough to hand us some brake fluid. So now we can go back and see if this is what's actually wrong with Shannon's truck. If not, then we'll have to, there's enough to bleed a clutch. So we can't waste it. Um, failing that, we just bombing out of town, sorted out another plan, another problem. Uh, but hopefully this fixes his truck and we can hit the trails and go find these tunnels. For those two, Robin and Malcolm there, absolutely wonderful people. Stop on by, say hi. You know, get a map of the place and uh, explore this lovely area they have in their backyard. Very, very cool spot. So, a huge thank you to them for helping us out on the trail. Like substantial. That's oil what I was trying anywhere. to find before. I couldn't see anything that looked obviously. So, yeah, yeah, we'll bleed the clutch and see how it goes. Ivan. Oh, there's a spurt. Well, do you want to pull that out, jump in, start it, see what See, it's, yeah, see exactly. Like. Can't do much more than that. Yeah. Fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Nice stuff, that's riding. Feels a lot better. You get back into it then. So luckily that was a nice easy fix. Sadly I've still 
building this rig, so I'm not used to carrying everything I used to carry in the Jeep, so I didn't have any fluid on me, but Robin and Malcolm, they had some spare fluid. Thank you guys so much. We're back on the trails. Back where we got to. We've turned off down to the right following the main road. We took a sort of little detour there. We got back to where we were. We've now started to make our way down the cliff face, down the hill, into the Noble Delhi. Kind of cool creeping down the hill here. Little clay steps. I wish we could climb up from the other side, but it would just kind of ruin the trail, make it impassable. Would be cool though. Yeah, we're just like filming stuff. Oh wow! Oh, wow that's deep. Okay, we, we we need torches. This goes a long way. It's quite deep, isn't it? Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> I'm gonna crawl as far as I can, which is probably most of the way in. Yeah. <gasps> hey, Jono, that's the deepest you've ever been before. <laughs> Wow. What the actual... Oh wow, it goes all the way through. How far did it go? All the way through. Far out. There's one, two, three exits. Should we go this way? Oh. Wow, eh guys? This is kind of insane. And this is another big square cutout. I don't know what it'll be. Maybe a house. It's hot and sweaty and muggy in the forest. Everyone else coming out? Here they come. Crazy, eh? Wow. So I'm assuming, oh god, that maybe tucked down in there is, you can't see it on the camera. Oop, I'm knocking trees and all the waterfalls on me. Could be a sluice runoff, which is what all that dug in there is. But that's hard to say. You can't see anyway. There's the other exit, should we go back in that way? Whoop. Oh god, almost fell down a hill. Oh. Okay. Oh. This one's trying to squeeze. Oh. Wait, All right. Hello. Crazy what you can hear, eh? It's oh wow. Okay. Look at this. That there, guys. Oh my god. I touched it so many times. Look, they're right here. Yeah. They're giant. Well, the cave with us. Oh, it's moving. That's yeah, seriously cool. There he is. Look at this one. This one is more entertaining. He's moving. And this one. Hey, little fella. Sorry to ruin your day. All right. This is insane. Oh, duck. Oh, God. Oh. oh, my legs are getting sore. Oh. Oh. 
Wait, I want a picture. Right. Good boy! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Nick. I'm taking a picture just a second. Not of you, but okay. Not good. Ah, oh, I have to move. <laughs> she wants a photo. So if you want to know where that is, guys, you drop down a, a clay section. We would have just, you would have just seen me drop down and literally stop at the bottom of that, wander around the corner a little ways and you'll spot that tunnel. The uh, benefits of having to jump out of the vehicle and film all the time, I literally spotted that as I ran back up to get the camera. So that was cool. That was seriously cool. Down in the creek bed now, we have a chance to stop for lunch. We get a hot drink into us and some food, and then just around the corner here, we have to tackle something a bit more technical, which is what we've all been wanting. At least me and Shannon. Shannon, mate, I might need a spot for this one. Right enough. Cheeky wheel lift at the rear end there. Didn't quite realize how sharp that drop was. Yeah. <laughs> and that awkward moment when I stall it. Amateur. That there made me kind of think maybe I have an LSD in the rear of my truck. I thought we were all open. But through easy peasy. So I've driven what I could drive, which is following the creek. The actual main line goes up and over and drops down the other side, but my truck and Nick's truck probably can't do that. Shannon's truck probably can. So, he's gonna give it a go. See if he can climb up that. Now you can't really see it, but on the right hand side, as I'm showing the driver's side here, there's actually a drop, probably about twice my height. I want to keep him as far away from that as possible. The drop on the far side here, is steeper than it looks on camera. The camera never shows the actual drop. Oh, that line's But this is a hefty, heavy truck to try and bring down this little line here. And yeah, hang on. Bit of squeak and squealing, but he is down and out, and what a drive that is. That's a bit of a drive. Working. I can drive a little. Nick is up next in the D Max. Already, I'm kind of thinking that he won't have the flex in the rear. Leaves for his quarters. Yeah, yeah. And he's a longer vehicle than me, so we're going to try a few things to squeeze him through here. Okay, Oh, that way. Already getting hung up. Open diff, see the side. It just doesn't really help. Yeah, go, driver. Yeah, and try and bump it just a little. Yeah, and then back up passenger again. Yeah. Just a little bump is all he needs. And yes, finally he is getting through there. We are out down the creek. Well done. Down to the creek now, Nobles Creek, and it gets really kind of technical. It's really a bit of fun. I really love this kind of driving where you got to think and work it out and playing running underneath trees and over rocks and logs and all sorts. It looks really steep. That does look really steep. Let's go see if we can drive it, eh? This is such a cool place. <laughs> so 
so update I have just lost my clutch as well Shannon we fixed his his was fluid issue mine uh, the pedal just goes to the floor no pump no nothing maybe the master cylinder hopefully I just had the clutch replaced like six months ago uh, no three months ago whenever I bought the truck uh, so basically plan is to get out of here go find these tunnels get on out of here uh, and then hit camp and deal with this tomorrow Luckily it's a manual, I can drive it without having to really do anything. I've just got it in first gear and we'll just crawl our way out of here. Oh, wheeling with Jono. Highly recommend it. <laughs> this has to be one of like the most gorgeous closed in trails I've been on. This is just it is seriously cool to be wandering our way. This is tight. Wandering our way through this little channel of a gully here. Thinking that it's actually a trail. Actually a full drive. Actually somewhere you can come and explore. And it is sick. Stunning day out. Even if we have done two clutches and it's immensely behind schedule. on first tunnel of the day this is seriously cool yeah you probably can't see anything on your camera on your ring guys but this is dark and cool Tunnel number two, guys. This one looks a little tighter. Oh, wow. That's super long. Oh, but this is seriously cool. And this is cool. Just, just look at this. Like, that is a long way down. This is insane. You guys have to come here. This is seriously, seriously cool. Oh, who's getting tighter? Wing mirrors near in the walls. This tunnel's a little bit longer than the last one. Makes it a bit more fun. We emerged into the Waipuna Creek and it's nice to have a big open space again, although I do miss being in those cabins. Shannon takes a moment to explore the local region while I pack up the last of the camera gear. But ultimately, we cross the river and the convoy rolls out down the creek. This has been a spectacular adventure that I really urge you to come and check out. It is a cool place to come, $20 per vehicle and what a phenomenal trip. The West Coast has definitely put it on for me this weekend. So you may be wondering why the West Coast rivers run black. What is essentially black. I guess like a you know, strong, strong cup of gumboot tea. The reason is the West Coast gets a hell of a lot of rain. That rain makes a hell of a lot of growing foliage, trees, forests. Eventually that stuff falls down and that water helps decay it. That releases a bunch of tannins into the river system. Those tannins are of course brown coloured. Simple stuff really, does mean your bottle at the end of the day looks like a strong, well this one for example is a weak cup of tea, but completely fresh and drinkable. 
just might get a few strange looks from the, uh, from the tourists. Away from the creek now, we take the opportunity to hit one last little trail that leads us into an old disused mine. It was extremely short, far shorter than I thought it was going to be, but we got right up into this old coal mine and what a space to be exploring. Alrighty guys, so we made it to the top of the mine here. It's a cool ass little spot, but it's pissing down with the rain, so we're going to keep on getting out of here. But the trail doesn't end here for us or for you guys. We'll catch us next time on Lost Sheep Adventures. Wicked. That was easy, eh? Cool, let's get out of here. Let's just hang on, hang on. There we go. Let's just get some, some camera here. There we go. Hey. <laughs> you guys still alive? I did. That's okay. I'm going to find another chocolate.